Hey everybody, my name is Jason Jacobs and this is my bunny bubbles, my magic bunny bubbles I use in my magic shows. And today, Bubbles and I are going to teach you the area, how to find the area of a trapezoid. Now there are two different ways to find the area of a trapezoid. Bubbles, you can go on up there. So two different ways to find the area of a trapezoid. One way is to decompose this trapezoid into two triangles and a rectangle. The uh, Oh, Cooper. That's my dog, Cooper. He'll be fine. Okay, the other way you can find the area of a trapezoid is to do this formula right here. Base 1 plus base 2 times the height and then divide it by 2. So this could be base 1, 9. This could be base 2, 17. You add those two up. And then in parentheses, and then so you do it first, and then you multiply it by the height, 8, and then you divide it by 2. This hack right here is great to find the area of a trapezoid if you can do it. So, um, but the way I'm going to teach you first is how to decompose it. So first, Cooper, Cooper, come here, buddy. So the first thing you want to do to find the area of a trapezoid, we're going to decompose this into a triangle. So look, we have a triangle right here. And we have another triangle right here, and then we have a rectangle. So the area of this triangle, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So 4 times 8 is um, 32 divided by 2 is 16. Now, so that, remember that this is 16. I'm going to write that down. 16 for that triangle. And now the area of this rectangle here is 9. See that 9 by 8. 9 times 8 is 72 plus area of the Now, what is this base from here to here? Well, in order to figure that out, we could do um, this total 17. We're going to take away 4, and we're, then we're going to take away 9. So 4 and 9 is 13. So 17 minus 13 is um, 4. So this is 4 over here too. It's not always that way, but in this way it is an isosceles trapezoid meaning these two sides are equal. Uh, so 4 times 8 divided by 2 is 16. So we have another 16 for that area of that triangle. So we have um, uh, 72 plus 32. So we're going to do that, and we get 104 yards squared, 104 yard, yards squared. Now here's the hack I wanted to teach you for two great tips to find the area of a trapezoid. All right, two great tips to find the area of a trap oh gosh cooper come here buddy what are you doing what are you doing back there so the other tip i wanted to show you guys come here bubbles the other tip to find the area of a trapezoid is this bubbles just likes to sit on my shoulder so to find the area of a trapezoid you do base one plus base two times the height uh, no, base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. So I'm going to write that out for you. Um, in parentheses, 9, base 1 plus 17, and then times the height, times the height, which is 8, and then divide it by 2. Or we could multiply it by 1 half, guys. So that is how you would find the area of a trapezoid. You would look for this base this base, add those two together, multiply it by the, the height, and then divide it by 2. And I think we get, did we say 104 yards squared? Let's see if we got it right, guys. Let's see if we got it right. What is this? There's the check answer right there. And let's do another one. Uh, you guys try this one so you can pause it and try it if you want. So go ahead and pause it and try uh, both methods. Here we have a right trapezoid. Kind of looks like a interesting looking trapezoid here. So the first method, uh, go, yeah, go ahead and pause it and try both methods now. All right, did you pause it? All right, do a little dance. Bubbles, come here. They're doing their work now. They're learning the area of a trapezoid. So to find the area of a trapezoid, what you do is we're going to um, make a rectangle here. 
and a triangle here. So we're decomposing this figure into a rectangle and a triangle. Now, the area of this rectangle is 9 times 7, length times width, 9 times 7, so that's 63. So we're going to remember 63 um, plus, and now we have to do 13, time, uh, 13 minus 7 to get just this height of this triangle. 13 minus 7 is 6. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or 1 half base times height. So we have uh, 6 times 9 divided by 2. What I like to do is just take half of 6 first. 1 half times 6 is 3. So 3 times 9 is 27. So we have 63 plus 27. Not a 727 airplane much. And to add these up, I like to just um, bar this 3, take it over here, and make that 30 plus 60. You see how I do that? So it's 90. So the answer here would be 90 inches squared. Let's see if that is correct. It is correct, but hey, I wanted to show you this hack here. Base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. So we do 13 plus 7. 13, oh, he's licking me, guys. Do you see that? 13 plus 7 is 20. Okay, 20. Now we do 20 times 9, that's 180. And then 180 divided by 2 is 90. So write this down. Write that down. Right there, that formula. It's really good. Hey, that is two ways to find the area of a trapezoid. The two quickest ways I know. Thanks so much, everyone. My name is Jason Jacobs. Hope you enjoyed this um, video uh, for Pearson's Envision. And uh, best wishes to you. Bye. Say bye, Bubbles. Bye, Bubbles. We'll see you later. How do I stop this? Oh, no. Where'd it go? Oh, shucks. Let it stop, did it? Okay. There we go. Bye, guys.